Welcome to Football Review UK and thank you for watching this video. Today I'm pleased to present a very special video which is about one of the greatest plays to grace the game and one of my favourite players of all time, Ronaldinho. He was a player with supreme skill, phenomenal ability and just loved to play the game and didn't hurt that he was an extremely likeable character. He won everything in football at club level, international level and individually. He won Liga, Supercopa de España, the Champions League, Serie A, the Confederations Cup, the Copa America and of course the World Cup, as well, a host, as well as a host of other trophies back in Brazil with Flamenco and Atletico Mineiro. He also won the FIFA World Player of the Year twice, as well as the Ballon d'Or. So growing up he was one of my idols, at the peak of the powers the best. So when a university friend asked me to go to Barcelona with him in September 2005 to watch Barcelona play, I jumped at the chance. The game we were there to see was Barcelona vs Udinese in the Champions League. The trip was special because we saw the Barcelona players outside the ground before the game and I was lucky enough to get my Ronaldinho shirt signed by the great man himself. And I have a video with all my signed shirts in the collection that I have so I'll leave a link to that video in the description below. And on that amazing night, this is what happened. I couldn't believe it, I witnessed one of the greatest players of all time score a hat-trick and that was his first goal, a phenomenal free kick and that's actually my uh, awful footage there from back then recorded on my Sony camera. I couldn't believe it, uh, I had a signed shirt from the legend that was Ronaldinho and watched him score a hat-trick in the Champions League. Um, obviously, well admittedly it was from the nosebleed seats but I didn't really care. For me, it is the greatest football experience I've ever had in my lifetime and quite frankly, I don't think it'll ever be beaten. And we all know what happened next that season. Barcelona went on to lift the Champions League and it was amazing to know I had somehow witnessed a part of history on our trip. So then we come to the boots. So these are the Nike Premier 2.0 firm ground in the white and gold colorway. Technically not a top end boot, they come in a standard orange box and don't even come with a boot bag, but I like that. Boots of this quality don't need any frills and they speak for themselves. Initial thoughts after the box are that they are really top quality. The leather is nice and soft and the gold Nike swooshes that join together on the back just has a beautiful effect. You have the big bold Nike logo on the heel counter in gold which looks fantastic and overall is one good looking boot. Something Ronaldinho would be happy to wear I'm sure. If you watched any of my previous videos, you will have seen that white is my favourite colour for football boots. I have a lot of the Adidas Predators in white, so this boot really has me in the feels. It's basically some gold with lashings of white, the main colour of the upper is white, the sole plate is white, and it's just a beautiful boot. Quite frankly, I cannot fault it. As I've previously mentioned, the boot was inspired by Ronaldinho's Nike Tiempo Air Legend boots, that he wore uh, back in around 2005 and it followed the same white and gold colour scheme. Um, but before that, funnily enough, for the game against Udinese in the Champions League actually, he actually wore a red and white version, uh, which I bought all those years ago and uh, I'll bring them in in a moment for comparison. Uh, here you can see it comes with a little label, it just says basically it's uh, um, original. Um, kangaroo leather um, but I think you'll agree they look absolutely beautiful. Um, I love the styling of the boots it's very simple minimalistic and because it's so soft it looks I think it just looks phenomenal. So I'll just bring in my original Nike Tiempo Air Legend boots that Ronaldinho wore in 2005 uh, in the red and white colorway. Obviously now because they're so old it's more of a kind of silver and red colorway. Um, but I wore these for probably an eight to nine year period and they were my favourite boots. Ronaldinho wore them, Fabregas wore them. They're phenomenal quality, 
gave you great performance and the leather was just sublime. They're just about still wearable today, even though there's a bit of splitting in the seams you can, as you can see there, but it's a testament to the quality of these bad boys. What an amazing boot. Um, so when the Nike Premier 2.0 firm ground boots came out in the gold and white colorway, I just knew I needed to get a pair, get a pair because the Nike Tiempo Air Legend boots that you can see here, and comparing them with now, they, for a good 10 years or so, they're the boots I wore every single week. Um, you can see a bit of splitting on the sole plate, but I mean the leather is pretty much still intact. Obviously, it's got some scuffs and marks on, but the quality of the boots was absolutely uh, fantastic um, the comfort was excellent as well um, and that's something i'm hoping the nike premier 2.0 firm ground boots can replicate as well so i'll just get them on feet uh, and i'll give my verdict there okay so this is the on feet portion of the video um, so i'll just loosen up the right boot here um, so i get my foot inside um, but as I put these on, it's obvious that the boots are extremely high in quality. They're actually a pleasure to put on and the leather is just so soft on your feet and clearly you would need virtually no breaking time at all. They're that soft. I can just, you can just feel it as soon as you put these on. Um, as I've said, the boots feel soft as if you're wearing a pair of slippers as the old cliche goes and they're just brilliant. Um, I cannot praise these boots enough in terms of comfort and they are an excellent homage to the great man, uh, Ronaldinho. If they re-released the Nike Tiempo Air Legends, then I would be first in line, as that was an exceptional football boot, and this follows in that sort of trend. Uh, I think you'll agree, they look great, and as we look at the different angles, it's clear it would be near the top of any beauty contest. Obviously, the issue is, after one game or training session, you'd be crying because keeping these clean for any length of time is impossible. Especially when most pitches in the UK, uh, where I'm from, are either 3G or 4G synthetic surfaces. Um, so they don't just get dirty, uh, they get horrible scuffs and nicks, which ruins how they look. Uh, particularly when you consider how soft the leather is. Um, I've got to make a decision, but if I do wear these boots, and I haven't decided if I will yet because they're so beautiful, um, and obviously um, so clean out of the box, then I probably would only exclusively wear them in grass pitch games because obviously they can get dirty um, but at least I can be able to wipe the mud off uh, and not try and get out some scuffs. Um, overall it's a fantastic boot which I would definitely recommend getting uh, especially if you're a fan of the great man himself. Um, I also loved Ronaldo as a player uh, way back in those days when I was growing up but I never really took to his R9 range of mercurial football boots I'm old, I was always a Nike Tiempo uh, fan, uh, mainly after Ian Wright used to wear them. Uh, and I just think the quality and the feel of the Tiempos is something that has followed me as I've grown up. Um, and that's why I've obviously had the Nike Air Legends uh, for so long. Um, but for me, um, the fact that one of my favourite players of all time, Ronaldinho, ended up wearing the Tiempos was just a massive plus. Um, but I think you'll agree they look fantastic. The fold over tongue as well um, is a nice addition with the Velcro uh, strap there. But I mean, I just love the way the gold looks on the white colorway. Um, but obviously, as I've mentioned before, I'll have to make a decision whether I'll actually wear these in a game because they just look too beautiful uh, in my eyes. I think they look absolutely fantastic. Um, anyway, thank you very much for watching this video. And if you can give this uh, video a like and also subscribe, um, that would be hugely appreciated. Thanks very much and until next time.